586 tanks, 123 aircraft. From February 24 to March 28, the total combat losses of Russian troops stand at about 17,000 personnel. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine wrote this on Facebook, Ukraineform reports. The total approximate combat losses of the enemy, from February 24 to March 28, are as follows, nearly 17,000 personnel, 586 tanks, 1,694 armored combat vehicles, 302 artillery systems, 95 MLR systems, 54 air defense units, 123 aircraft, 127 helicopters, 1,150 vehicles, 7 vessels, 73 fuel tank trucks, 66 UAVs of the operational and tactical level, 21 units of special equipment, and 4 mobile SRBM systems, the report says. It is noted that the data on enemy losses is being updated, as the calculation is complicated amid highly intense hostilities. Russia signals it's been defeated in bid to topple Kiev as Kremlin says it'll focus only on liberating separatists. Russia appeared to admit it has been defeated in its bid to topple Kiev after the Kremlin said on Friday it will now only focus on liberating pro-Moscow separatist regions. Russia signals it's been defeated in bid to topple Kiev as Kremlin says it'll focus only on liberating separatists. Russia appeared to admit it has been defeated in its bid to topple Kiev after the Kremlin said on Friday it will now only focus on liberating pro-Moscow separatist regions. Moscow signaled it was scaling back its invasion in Ukraine to focus on territory claimed by Russian-backed separatists as the fierce resistance reoccupied towns up to 21 miles east of the capital. The Russian army said the first phase of its military campaign was over and troops will now focus on the complete liberation of the country's eastern Donbass region. But Ukrainian defenders will remain wary of Russian rhetoric, with the Kremlin downplaying its so-called special operation being seen as a familiar tactic to try to sow false confidence before a renewed assault. Sergei Rudskoy, chief of the main operational directorate of the General Staff of Russia's Armed Forces, said on Friday, the main tasks of the first stage of the operation have been completed. The combat potential of Ukraine's armed forces has been significantly reduced, which allows us, I emphasize, once again, to focus our main efforts on achieving the main goal, the liberation of Donbass. He claimed Russian forces had practically destroyed Ukraine's air force and anti-aircraft defenses, as well as the Navy. But Rudskoy said the Russian army did not rule out further attacks on Ukrainian cities, claiming the assaults had not been planned.